Yeah, free man, boy! Okay, stop. posting for a few days. Um, we've been busy, been very, very busy. Um, today's no exception. We've been in the house at seven, probably not gonna be back at the house till seven-ish, another 12 hours, you know, getting the work in. But uh, today's gonna be a crazy day. We're gonna bring you along with us, as always, and uh, so let's get right into it. Super stoked uh, to be back in our client's house and um Seeing our bathroom shower design come to life. Uh, I have a really good feeling about this one. This is, you know, you'll remember that this, where this straight line is now, this was a big curve and it had like a glass block wall coming out here. Um, and we obviously dynamited that, blew that up, took it out. And now we've got nice straight lines with, this will be glass. Here to here will be glass. There will be a bench in there. My question is, where's the bench? That's the only thing I'm worried about, is there's no bench in there. So we may have to, uh, we may have to rework that. Right, we've set a bench. Isn't there supposed to be a bench in there? I'm gonna guess there's not supposed to be a bench in there since it's not there. Not to sound sarcastic, but we talked about this design with them like four times. You know? Well, I'm pretty sure that there was supposed to be a bench in there. So let's call. Let Scott. us make call. Calling Scott Francis, our contractor. So. Thanks for calling Scott Francis. And of course, you don't answer. He didn't answer. And then in here, it's largely the same thing. No bench. Yeah, no, well, there will be no bench in here. It's a, it's a, this is a, what I would categorize as a guest shower. Um, so this is a much smaller shower stall, but I mean, this is at least half the size. I mean, it's small. Uh, but this will be white Alaskan tile on the wall. This will be river rock on the floor, glass case here. This is the, you can see they have the floor tile in here. Um, already, so I'm good with that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited about how this is going to turn out. I do want to go look in the garage and make sure 
if we got the right. You know, because in these things, again, and I say this every day, but again, yeah, I but and I say this every day. It needs to be perfect, you know. Like we need to make sure that here's the tub. So the tub is here. This is there. Yeah, here's all this tile. So this is the tile we ordered for the wall. This will be the master bathroom wall. It's going to be amazing. It will absolutely be amazing. Scott was like, you could have put this in the BMW. No, actually, this is 200 feet of tile. Don't think so, sir. It's been two minutes and you're already playing. And what's your point? games of Galaga ever? No. No, I've told you this story. I got a million on Galaga when I was a kid. Did you really? Yes, I got a million. Never I, forget it. I kind of wish they'd make it for the new Xbox, because that's when it was the most fun. Well, it's easier to play it with an Xbox controller in your hand. There's no doubt about that. That's old school. you got to hold the joystick and hit the button. You don't get to do it with a, a, a remote in your hand. Um, which makes it way easier. Like Pac-Man's way easier on Xbox. Way, way easier. Yeah. So, you know. You remember the uh, Simpsons game where you had to go, you were playing as Bart and you were a taxi driver? Yes. <laughs> yes, in fact, I do. I try to forget it, but I do remember that. So, yeah, that, that was not close. I'm just, I'm not as good as I used to be. I used to be really good at that game. At like, Galaga? Yeah, like that was my groove, was Galaga. Loved it. Yeah. But no more. All right, so we are in a really cool place for our um, radio show today. And it is Regenerative Stem Cell and Wellness Center in Scottsdale, North Scottsdale, up by a place called Troon. And basically what they do is they use technology to help your body feel better. So stem cells are kind of a new cutting edge technology. So what they can do is they basically uh, remove stem cells from your lower back area off your spinal column. And they take those and they inject them into areas of need. So if you have a bad knee, if you have a bad back, something like that, 
And a lot of people will just say, oh, I got a bad back. But you need to do something about that. You know, you need to move towards treatment because facilities like this are on the cutting edge of health and wellness. And whether it is things like stem cell treatments or cryotherapy or vitamins, I tell you every day on this show that I'm a huge fan of vitamins. So I do things like B12 injections. Um, I'm all about that. I've done that in the past. And now they have ways of combining things like vitamin direct IVs and stem cells and therapies that make you feel better. So there's no reason for you to be in pain every day. There's no reason for you to be walking around with a bad back or a bad knee when you have places like this. So that's the exciting part of doing radio shows is that you meet people who can actually help and improve your life. And that's what's fun. So we'll take you all around here. We'll talk all about their product and tell you what they do. And then on the radio show today, um, we'll talk to athletes who've actually been a part of the treatments and the therapies here. It's going to be a great show. So I'm really looking forward to it. The Monty Show live at Premier Regenerative Stem Cell and Wellness Centers, PRStemCell.com, brand new facility. It is absolutely gorgeous in here. We are in Scottsdale on Dynamite Boulevard. You've got to come up and check us out. Um, but if you can't, don't go anywhere because Don Horn, the, um, how shall I say, Green Bay Packer, great Don Horn, great. He's a Green Bay Packer. Mr. Horn, nice to meet you. Thank you. You know, you, you, you can talk about the Bears if you want. Yeah. Um, you know, we, used to, we used to own the Bears when I was mean, with Green Bay playing behind Bart. Yeah. Thank so you. how about those Bronco days? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, thank you. you know, but it's interesting, I think, for, for that era of fan. And I grew up, you know, I'm 44, so I grew up in the 70s and 80s. And, you know, obviously the... the Mike Ditka Bears and you know Jimmy Mack and Walter and I had the great fortune of working around all those guys in Chicago but it's so interesting the way the two teams have ebbed and flowed I really and I think the NFL needs this I think they need the Bears and the Packers to be good so that it's a rivalry again because <clears throat> that team to the north has been so much better than us for so long well yeah you know that's right and I you know it's the oldest rivalry in professional football yeah and uh, I believe it's pretty even overall over the 100 Very plus years. Even. It's pretty doggone even with two or three games, I think, as far as winning and losing. But, uh, you know, that, that's what the NFL is all about. You know, we were talking about somebody the other day, the old black and blue division. Oh, Back yeah. in the day, you know, uh, man, that's uh, – played in the elements outside. And just you know, that was one, one, tough, uh, one tough conference back in those days. Hello. Hello. Let's talk about shower benches, why don't we? Okay. There's supposed to be a shower bench or a bench in the master shower. Okay, where do you want it? Um, I would say along that back wall. Okay, what? full length bench or the triangle bench like what was there? No, full length. Let's go full length. Okay. So I just want to make sure, because um, he was pretty adamant about that, so. Okay, okay. All right, and then um, just to clarify, I want to make sure that uh, the Alaskan white is going on the wall in the guest bathroom, because they have a piece okay. of that floor tile leaning against the wall in there right now. Okay. So I want to make sure the Alaskan, have... the Alaskan white, you want me to text that to you? Yeah, I think I asked you to do that last week, just so I wouldn't. I was going to ask you again just now. I was going to call you and text me that, so I can make sure because Eric was asking that now. But yeah. that, 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 that same white to the floor. Like, no, it's not going on the floor. It's going on the wall, I think. Yes. Let me call Tim. Make sure. <laughs> yeah. They're going to start laying tile tomorrow. They're, they're pulling in right now. So he's going to lay out with his guys what's going on there. So that was one of my questions. Uh, cool. Okay, do. All right. I will pass it on. All right, I'll talk to you in a bit. I'll text you right now. Bye bye, Stay. Bye. But for getting the coach, just because. Sure. Yeah. See, you gotta have a good contractor. I mean, it's it's just it's not optional. It is really important um, that you gotta have a good contractor. It's not optional. You know, you gotta have a guy that knows what he's doing who asks the right questions, how you want to lay it, 
you know, the, in what pattern, so what, how is it going to be mixed on the walls, all of that is very pertinent questions that a lot of guys don't ask, they just assume and they go and do it, and that's about the last thing that you want, so right now, I'm going to look through all my pictures and go back quite a way and see what we did in another house where we used the same tile. Um, because it's it's really important that when you put tile on a wall that it looks good, you know? You, you don't want to spend four grand on wall tile and have it look like crap, you know? And that's really easy to do. It's easy to make that mistake. So we always err on the side of caution. Um, yeah, so the problem is I don't have pictures of that job readily available. So I have to go back, here it is right here, and I can kind of show it to you um, when I find it. This is that master shower that I've showed you so many times. And it's brick. See how it's laid to look like a brick pattern? So we're going to avoid that. I don't know if you, how clearly you can see that. We're going to avoid that as Jake is trying to get into the car. Um, we want to avoid laying the tile like that, frankly, because it doesn't lay smoothly. Like it's not, you don't get straight lines out of it. So we really want to try and avoid laying it in a brick pattern again. I don't think I would do that again. It was just too... I think it was, it didn't turn out as well as I wanted it to. So I think we are going to wind up laying that 70-30.